Welcome back, everyone, to another segment of the MCR Mac and Me. My name's TJ. In this segment, uh, I want to talk about uh, some of the lawfare uh, events that have uh, gone on last week involving uh, President Trump. Uh, it looks like he caught a few breaks. And uh, as I so often like to do, I, I have a theory. Perhaps it's wishful thinking. Perhaps, uh, perhaps uh, I'm off base. I'm sure Mac will let me know if I am. <laughs> but uh, uh, in any event, uh, you know, whether it's mistakes, incompetence, miscalculation, or just outright uh, personal baggage from uh, previous events in that person's life, uh, I, things have seemed to work out for Trump uh, last week. And and this is where my suspicion comes to be. Uh, might might we be watching uh, what happens if, when you incorporate DEI? I don't believe that they don't that they have the best people working in the jobs that they're that like Bragg, Fannie Willis, Jack Smith. Uh, these are not the best people for that type of position. You know, I mean. I right. mean, we can say we can say they're a bad person. Yes, the the buffoonery that that we've seen on display with these people. And, well, and I, gotta know, want... I think they they operate from the premise with Bragg and Fannie Willis, at least, is that well, they're black, and if you criticize them, you'll be a racist. So everyone everyone will be afraid to criticize them. Not and us. that's and that's DEI, right? You know, they're I mean, right right there. So you kind of indirectly, you know confirm my suspicion uh, you know and we'll start with alvin bragg and you already mentioned it minority male in new york city uh, and you know right out the gate i because because i read different articles and listen to commentary and right out the gate there were whispers that this guy's incompetent okay uh and and then so he 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 makes the decision uh to bring Stormy, put Stormy Willa or Stormy Daniels on the stand last week, you know, and I'll I, I'll jokingly jokingly say in hopes of a Category Five hurricane of some sort, and right. and and her taking the stand, she it well, was I'm so sure she's done uh, plenty of blowing in her day, <laughs> for sure, <laughs> but uh, uh, it was so bad, it was so bad. The judge had to rescue Bragg, okay? Uh, and, Which tells you where he's at. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I read this, and then I heard this on Dan Bongino. The judge uh, kind of scolded the defense attorneys, Trump's attorneys, because they didn't object enough at Stormy being put on the stand. See, I, I did, this, the, and this judge, you talk about incompetence. He, he's set up and he's he's making a mistrial or an appeal very possible. Yeah, well, because he's not Trump, even hiding how biased and unfair he is. Yeah. And, you know, Trump's attorney called for a mistrial and he said, oh, no, oh, no, we're going to continue. And and so because, uh, you know, like Byron York and and that and that group, uh, they're saying, you know what, if he if he has any kind of a decent uh, 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 appeals court, uh this thing is going down as a mistrial, you know, and uh, uh, and let's see the one with Alvin Bragg. I think that's uh, I want to say Merchan, Judge Merchan, yeah. uh, Mercon, or however you want to say his name. Uh, but uh, anyways, uh, uh, I pronounce it asshole. Yeah, for sure. So so you know, Stormy Peters out on the stand. Uh, they 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 said she resorted to screaming because uh, uh, the because def the defense attorneys tore her up okay and and uh, and said something to her about uh, uh, have you called him this this and this name and that's when she started screaming about well he called me names first and 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 I think that's when the judge even CNN said bad move. This was bad. Sh should have never done. Should have never went there, you know. But yeah. uh, hey, you know, you want DEI, you got DEI, okay? Right. Uh, 
next, uh, uh, we'll, we'll talk about uh, now Jack Smith. Uh, uh, you know, he, he he appears to be Caucasian. The guy appears to be outright incompetent. I don't know if how much you heard about this, Mac, but uh, uh, evidence tampering. And if it wasn't tampered with, it was completely mishandled. And so well, now his why is why is this? You know, people often comment when we report things. Why is this a surprise? Well, it's not that we're surprised. We're just reporting it. But uh, it's no surprise to me that this is happening because he's the he's the court jester in this three ring circus. Exactly. And uh, uh, they're they're saying if if it isn't evidence tampering, then it was out of idiocy, uh, mishandled, you know, the, the evidence. And so uh, uh, his case is on hold indefinitely because an appeals court is basically looking into how Jack Smith has screwed it up, you know? Yeah. So, so his case is on hold. And then there's Fannie Willis, <laughs> you know, uh, with, uh, I tell you what, uh, that Engeron, that Judge Engeron, if it wasn't for him, uh, she'd probably be running out of the courtroom crying, you know? Uh, mm-hmm. the, the the one that gets up on the stand and, yeah. and you know, she's going to set the record straight and this and that. And, you know, and I really, really, really think it's funny how how uh, her lover boy who was cheating on uh, his wife, that it was his ex-wife's divorce attorney that found that little nugget. Well, I want to uh, know when the two of them are going to get charged with perjury like the two of us would be. Yeah, well. I guess I guess uh, Trump's attorneys on that case uh, got it to the appeals court and the appeals court saying, you know what, we're going to look into this. Every uh, her her case is on hold, you know, and right. uh, and of course, it's all because she's a black woman. But you know what? You want DEI? You got DEI, you know, and right. let you know, uh, as Dan Bongino likes to call it, D.I.E. die, you right. know. But, uh, yeah, uh, but I, I, I just, I just got to think that, that, so, you know, some of the things that broke favorably for Trump last week, well, it's, it's because, well, I, I believe there's a link to DEI there and this is what happens when you don't have the best people doing the job that's, uh, called upon. Well, there's you an know? old saying, be careful what you ask for, because you just might get it. Well, I think they just might be getting it. And, and Mac, you may have heard about this, but uh, it is so bad that James Carville is in complete meltdown. He's done two videos, I think, on X or one of the one of the social media platforms. And I don't think it was YouTube. I think it might have appeared on YouTube, but but it was on one of the other platforms. And he is screaming and screaming and screaming. This has got to stop. Well, I think I, Carville is of the, not that I can stomach listening to him for very long, but I think he was, he thought this, let's put him in trial thing was a very bad idea and that it would blow up in their face. And I, you know, he's pretty, well, I hate his guts. He's a pretty astute political analyst, far better than Carl Rove, I would tell you. Uh, you know what? I concur. Uh but less than it, less than the late Lee Atwater, however. I will confess, I, I'm enjoying uh, his meltdowns, though. Yeah. You know, <laughs> but uh, you know his, his meltdowns only prove what I've what I've kind of mentioned in this segment here. You know, and and, and again, I'll, I'll come I'll come back to what I said. It, it I do believe what we're watching is the fruits of DEI play out real time. In, you know, you, in the beginning, you said you like to theorize, and you've said that a number of times on this channel. You know, I don't like to theorize, but but I have theories as much as anybody, I guess. My theory is is that you've seen the meme when it's a picture of Trump and it says something to the effect of, uh, "It's not me thereafter; it's you thereafter." Exactly. And I think that's I think that's the case here. They're not going to let us choose our own candidates. They're going to choose our candidates and pretend that we're having a real election. And I think what's really at the core of this whole Trump bullshit is that uh, they want to make it so that you cannot criticize an election or you're going to jail. 
Yeah. Yeah, really. Uh, That's what I think what? is at the core of this. And, and it isn't going to stop at Donald Trump. If you and I get on here, and in fact, it's happened to us already to some degree, YouTube has told us we can't deny any election results or it's undermining or it's misinformation or whatever damn lies they tell off, off of Google. Yeah. Uh, well, and that's why we that's why we say electoral anomalies. <laughs> yeah. Right. But, uh, uh, you know, we're go- November can't get here quick enough. And we we got to win big because I, I, I know here in Michigan, Wayne County, uh, man, who knows what kind of shenanigans they're going to pull in Wayne County. Well, uh, they, they do what they do in Wayne County. And you talk about DEI. That, that place is full of it. Oh, yeah. Big time. Big time. So uh, that's that's all I got uh, for this segment. Uh, I guess there is hope. Hope. Hopefully their buffoonery doesn't stop anytime soon, really. I'm, you know, I'm all you know, I'm enjoying the show to some degree. Uh, you know, they're just, uh, you know, they're melting down because it ain't playing out the way they wanted it to. And Carvel's melting down because they're trying to play it out the way they want to play it out, you know, and. And, uh, boy, if, if there wasn't so much at stake, I, I'd, I'd be enjoying this, uh, this spectacle, but exactly, uh, but that's, that's all I got for this uh, segment. And, uh, uh, I guess we'll call this one a wrap. Okay. And, uh, catch you on the next segment as always be safe, watch your six and don't tread on me. <laughs>